In this video, I would like to get you started with graphics. I am not necessarily going to teach a lot of graphics skills. I more want to set up how MATLAB is doing graphics and set up you to learn how to dress up your graphics yourself and study MATLAB and figure out what options for your graphics are there. So let's go ahead and get started. And I think you could do this entire course with just two commands, plot and image SC, at least for graphics. So that's all we'll use here, but I'll show you how to discover what's behind those and discover all the different things that you can change about them. Let's go ahead and do the plot command. So we need two things. Technically we only need one, but let's do two. Let's first calculate an array X We'll use the MATLAB command linspace, and we'll go from 0 to 10. And we'll do this with 100 points. Now, we could look at what's inside x, and we're going to see our numbers going from 0 to 10, and there's 100 numbers here. From there, we can calculate y as something like, uh, how about x squared? And notice I'm doing dot to the second. That's doing a point-by-point -point squaring. I'll follow that with a semicolon so that we don't see everything that's in Y. Now I can say plot X comma Y. And there I'm looking at X squared from a range of values of 0 to 10. Now in MATLAB, almost all plotting commands return a handle. So now let's type in H equals plot x comma y and if you remember nothing else about matlab graphics remember this and remember that handle so we're going to plot and nothing seems to happen and that's because it does it did the same plot again h is now a handle pointing to all of the properties of the line that we just plotted and there's two commands for interacting with those handles if we just looked at handle h we wouldn't really see much there, although we can start to see some of the properties there. But instead, let's use get and set. So let's start first with get. There's two ways to use get. Let's clear the command window, type in get h. So we're getting the handle to that line. And now we see all of the properties associated with the line. So if you're ever wanting to do something like make the line thicker, change its color, change its style, all these other things, but you're not sure how to do that, it's very likely in the handle. Go type H equals plot or H equals whatever plotting command you're doing and type get to that handle and see everything that you can change about it. Line width, marker, so it'll place a particular symbol at each point on your data and then also connect it with lines. So a whole bunch of stuff here that you can investigate. Now, one thing I'll point you to is the parent. All of these properties are associated with the line, nothing else. But we might want to change maybe our axes and all that. So the thing that the line is plotted in, our axes, is the parent object. So I can type in H2, and I'm going to use this get command again. I'm going to get the parent. And now H2 is a handle to all of the properties of that axis, not the figure window. In fact, the figure window will be the parent of the axis. Let's go ahead and look at everything that's in H2. These are associated with the axes, whole bunch of stuff. And these are all things that you can change or do whatever to. So how the, the colors are scaled, the color bars, uh, fonts, line widths. So now we're at a point where maybe we want to start playing with these things. And we can, let's go back to get H and let's look at a bunch of different properties that we could change. Well, here's line width. Let's play with that one. Right now it's set to 0.5. So we would expect that that's the width of the line. Suppose we wanted to change that. That leads to the set command. So we can type in set Oops, set H, line width, and now type in something new. I'll type in a big number like five, just so we can dramatically see the difference. And boom, suddenly we have a much, much thicker line. And we can make it, we can change the style of that line, other things. Let's go back 
to the axes and let's pick out something that we can change. Maybe something that you might want to commonly change. There is a line width here and let's find that uh, line width. That's still set to 0.5, but we just changed this line width to something like five. So what does this line width mean? Well, it actually means the lines going around the, the whole plot. Let's change that. Let's say set H2, which are the axes, line width, let's just make this three. And now you see it made this line around here much larger. If we continue to investigate this, we'll see that there's a font size in here. Let's find where that is. Font size, 10. So we can say set H2. Ah, man, I keep hitting enter by accident. Set H2 font size and make that 48, just so we can see the difference strikingly. That, that'll likely be too big. And boom, now we have super huge fonts all the way around. So remember, if I've taught you nothing about graphics, remember these handles. You can type in H equals and then do whatever plotting command, image SC, whatever it is, and they'll hand a handle back and you can study that and see all of the different properties that you can change. Now, if we type in get with just the handle, it lists what's there and the current value. Let's just type in get H. If I want to specifically get the number, like for example, marker size, I can say get H marker size, and it will return that value. I could even type in something like um, S equals get H marker size, and now S will be six. So that's the two ways to use get. If I give it the handle alone, it lists everything in its current value, or I can get values out of it. Set, we can also use two different ways. Now, if I type in set with just the handle, um, it's very much like typing get with H. I can see all the different properties there, but set does something different. It tells me what my options are. So for example, let's go to um, line style. We can see what the different options are for line style. We have a continuous line. We have a dash line with long dashes, a dash line with dots, a dash line with long and, and also dots. And we can also turn the line off completely. Now that wouldn't make much sense for a plot command, but there's other things like the fill command where we can make polygons and maybe we don't want a line going around the edge and we can set line style to none. Now, so set is just like get, if you handle only the handle, but it tells you the options for the arguments. And then of course, if we wanna set the actual property of something, which we've already done, set H uh, line width, let's go to something really tiny and see what happens, 0 0.1. Oh, and we can barely see that. I'm not even sure you can see it on the video, maybe. I can see that on my monitor. So if you remember nothing else, about MATLAB graphics, remember that you can get handles and you can investigate everything about that. Let's move on quickly to image SC. So image SC is for drawing 2D functions. So we'll just create something rand uh, 40 by 40. And now we'll say image SC A. And up pops this random array. It looks like random numbers. I could type in color bar so now I can see what color corresponds to what number. And just like before, let's say I don't really know how to use MATLAB other than I know this clue about handles. I would like to change the font size. Here's another trick. Rather than get parent to the image SC or type H equals image SC and then get parent, we can jump to it. So I can say set GCA, that means get current axes, whatever we last plotted to, that's GCA. That's just like what we were previously typing as H2, but we don't have to get parent or anything. And let's set font size to 24, something large so we can see the difference. And now it has made all of the fonts bigger. Let's suppose for some reason, I wanted to make the font on the color bar different, bigger, smaller, just different. How would I do that? Well, 
let's apply this theory of handles. Let's type in H equals color bar. And I have no clue what's there, so I'm just going to type in get H. And here's all of the different things I can change. And I'm looking for, oh, hey, here's a font size. And it's set to 21.6. Let's set it to something different. So set H. Font size, let's set it to eight. That's going to be really small. I'm just doing something so we can see that it's different. And now we've set our color bar font independently of the axis font. So this is how we can study and change different things. So the set and the get command. Now notice image SC, we have the numbers going increasing in the vertical direction. That bothers a lot of people. They would like to see numbers increasing going up. And what the heck is going wrong? How do I fix that? Well, again, let's go back to handles. It's all in the handles. So let's plot this again, but now we'll get a handle to H equals image SC of A. All right, so now we see our data again. The color bar went away because I did a whole new plot. Let's type in get H. And we don't know how to reverse the order of the Y axis. We're gonna look for something that kind of looks like that. Now, we said get H and I'm looking for something with some kind of direction. I am not seeing anything. And why is that? Well, that's because the handle to the image SC is the handle to these things here, the actual data we just plotted. We really would like to play with the axes. So again, we can do two things. We can say get H parent, and we'll have to output that to like an H2, or we could just say GCA, like get current axes, and it returns the same property. So I tend not to do it this way. I will use the GCA. So let's get GCA. Let's look through these for some way to reverse the direction of our, of our Y data. And so we're looking and we don't necessarily have to know what everything is. We're just trying to look for some kind of clue for direction or vertical up or any kind of word like that. I'm not seeing any kind of vertical command. Um, now I see a bunch of x-axis stuff. Why? Oh, now I see a y dir. Hmm. I see it set to reverse. Maybe, but I don't know this is it, but what are my other options? I Okay, if, if reverse is what it is now and I don't want that, what is it? What command do I give it? Well, that's where we're going to use the set GCA command. And let's look for that Y dir again, and it should give us all of our options. Here's uh, Y dir. Reverse is what it's currently set to. Oh, here's the other option. Let's set Y dir to normal. No idea if this will work. We're just going to try it. Set GCA Y dir to normal. Oh, and by the way, let's say we were just guessing and... Um, I don't know, not reverse. What would it do to us? Well, it's going to yell at us and say, uh, I don't know what that is. So we'll go back in and type in normal. And well, we see something jumped around and now we see the numbers increasing going vertically. So that's just one example of how we wanna change something about the plot and we can figure out how to do that through the concept of handles. Now, something else I'm not showing you, and the reason I'm not showing you is because there's all kinds of good tutorials on YouTube, but there's a whole GUI here where we can go in and change everything about the axes and all that. And I prefer just doing it straight through the code because if you do it through the GUI, next time you plot it, all that stuff you've just done is gone. You have to go in through the GUI and do it all over again. And so by doing it in code to begin with and putting that in your script file, it generates that same graphic every time. So that's actually how I do it. I rarely do anything through the GUI to adjust this. So that's really it for this lecture. I just wanted to show you how you can learn graphics on your own. And in the following sequence of videos, you will learn more about specific commands, but keep in mind these handles and how you can use them to figure things out for yourself. I hope this is helpful.